I'll start off by using my one and three fourths blade. While doing the shave, the main focus is just to cut the top of the head in a taper area. We're not going to worry about the back right now. Next, I'll take my 5-0 and just start to make a taper line on both sides. When making the ball line, just go just a little bit above the ear. Use a feathering technique and try not to dig so you won't create a line. Next, I'll take a 116 line with the lever open and create a guideline. I remove the 116 guard and open my lever and work this fade from top to bottom. Close the lever halfway and continue to work my way down. As I get close to the ball line, I will close my lever all the way up. It will not remove the ball line. I'll have to pick up my pro alloy fades to get that 5-0 lined up. Now I'm just moving the lever back and forth trying to get this fade blurry as possible. Now I'll take my pro alloy fades and close the lever all the way up and remove the bottom line. Now I'll place my 116 guard back on the clipper with the lever open and start to place the guideline on the other side of the head. While making the guy line, always remember to feather because you don't want to put a hard line in the fade. It's going to be hard to get out. Now I'll just remove the guard and work my way down with the lever open. And just like the other side, I would just close the lever halfway and work my way down. Working my way close to the 5-0. Next I'll just close my lever all the way and work my way to the 5-0. It will not remove the line. The only way you'll be able to get that 5-0 line out is with a blade with a 4-0. Those are normally blades that start with 5-0 and end with 3. Pay attention to how I'm holding the skin tight as I'm blending. Remember, after fading, going against the grind, turn your clippers around and go with the grind to smooth it out. Now I will put moose on the top of his head just to hold everything in. I'm just going to brush the moose in until it dries. After the moose is dry, I'll start on the lineup. I normally like to start my lineup in the middle of the head. Always hold your trimmers at an angle where the teeth can feed straight through the hair. Trimmers are nothing but electric razors, just like you pull the skin for a straight razor, you have to pull the skin for a um, trimmer. Even while creating a line for the part, I'm going to pull the skin tight. Now I'm just going to start lining the back of the head, giving it a round shape. Try to use a trimmer that's not so sharp on the back of the neck. You don't want to leave any marks. After completing his lineup, I'm just going to take my Pro Alloy Fades and start to shape the back of the shed. I'm not going to dig too much, I just want to cut the ends off and make it blend into the wavelength area.
I've already applied the pencil and the only thing the pencil is going to help me do is see the long hairs is sticking over the line. When using a pencil, try to get some trimmers that's sharp enough to make an edge line on the pencil while taking the hair off. Even though I've already lined him up, I'm going to continue to pull the skin tight so I can get that nice precise line up. At the end of every cut, it's always important to do polish work. Polish work is nothing but getting your uh, clippers, getting the ends off, making it look as neat as possible. I always uh, take a fade blade and just go over the end slowly and might hit it with a razor. I try to make my work look as sharp as possible. If you like my work, there's plenty of more work coming soon. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Please leave a comment below on the styles you would like to see me perform. I'll give you my um, point of view on the haircut and technique. Oh,